Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see using projects in Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence. Uh, there is one news before we start the video. On June 30th, 2024, the Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence standalone portal which is ti.defender.microsoft.com will be retired and will no longer be accessible. We would only be able to use Defender TI in the Microsoft Defender portal or with Microsoft Copilot for security. First, we log on to the Defender portal and take it from there. I'm logged on to the portal. So, you go to security.microsoft.com under Threat Intelligence, you see Intel Projects. We have discussed in our past videos about Intel Explorer. And we all know Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence lets you develop private, personal or team projects to organize indicators of interest and indicators of compromise from an investigation. Now, project would contain a listing of all the associated artifacts and a detailed history that retains the name, descriptions, collaborators and monitoring profiles. So, when you search an IP address domain or host in the Intel Explorer, and if that indicator is listed within the project you have access to, you can go to the projects tab and navigate to the details of the project for more context. Let's say I, in the Intel Explorer, I search for fabricam.com. I got this information. So if I go here and click on projects, I have already created a test project in which I have an entity with the domain name this that I'm already investigating, right? So now visiting a project's details show a listing of all the associated artifacts and a detailed history that retains all the context described through the Intel Explorer. Now you and your other users within the organization no longer need to spend time communicating back and forth. You can build threat actor profiles within Defender Threat Intelligence which can serve as a living set of indicators and you discover or find new information, you can add it to that project. Okay. Now, this platform in Defender Threat Intelligence lets you develop multiple projects, types or organization for organizing indicators of interest or indicators of compromises. Now, uh, if I go to Intel Projects, you need to have a premium license if you want to use it. But for the demo version, I can only create a new project. So this is the test project that I created. Right. If you want to edit it, these are the options that get. If I want to edit it, I can say accessible to anyone on my team and I save it or only then it was only accessible to me. You can download the artifacts as well within the projects. Okay. So you go my projects and you can click on download and download it here. If you and your team member are working on a project, now there might be some questions that this project will give you answers. So, question would be if I'm working on an investigation, I would think has any one of my fellow team members created a team project that includes this indicator? Let me check that, right? So, if they have created, what other related IOCs have this team member captured? And what description and tax did they include to describe the type of investigation, right? When did this team member last edit the project? Okay. So there are some prerequisites. You should have a Microsoft Entra ID or personal Microsoft account and you should have a Defender Threat Intelligence Premium License. The reason I'm able to make change because I can only see my projects. If you want to see team projects, they are not available because I don't have a premium license. If you want to create a new project, just come here, accessible only to me for now. Test two tax test project you can give any tax save it 
new project is created okay you you have to manage uh, the project so once you create a project you can manage it in the intel projects page so if you go here you would see both of your projects that you have created so there are two projects that i created in my projects tab so by default the intel projects page displays the team projects associated with all defender ti users in your tenant you can choose to view just the personal projects you created or the projects that were shared with you uh, to contribute to okay so there are some best practices when it comes to using defender ti to investigate potential threats microsoft recommendation is to run the following workflows because these steps enable you to gather strategic and operational intelligence before diving into tactical intelligence so when you perform various type of searches within defender threat intelligence it's important to approach your intelligence gathering method in a way that presents you with broad results before diving into investigating specific indicators for example if you search an ip address in the intel explorer page what articles are associated with that ip address what information do these articles present about the ip address that you would not otherwise find navigating directly to the ip address okay for example has this ip address been identified as a possible command and control server or a c2 server who is the threat actor what other related iocs are listed in the article what tactics techniques and procedures which are called ttps tactics techniques and procedures is a threat actor using and who are they targeting right and in addition to performing various types of searches in defender ti you can collaborate with others on investigation that said you are encouraged to create projects and indicators related to an investigation to a project and add collaborators to a project if more than one person is working on the same investigation right this is what i wanted to cover about intel projects in microsoft defender portal so if you have any further questions please mention them in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day